Hi all, I'm Yunus. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how we can use Amazon Event Bridge to relay the events which are happening in S3. For example, uploading an object, creation of an object, deleting an object. All these are events which are happening in S3. How can we configure Amazon Event Bridge to capture these events and then deliver it to the destinations which we specify? So in this case, what I'm going to do is I will provide an SNS topic as the destination and I have subscribed my Gmail ID to that particular SNS topic. So what will happen is whenever an object is uploaded into S3 bucket, that event will be transported through the event bridge and it will send a message to the SNS topic. And because my Gmail ID is subscribed to that SNS topic, I will get a mail. So that is what we are going to test today. It is a simple exercise for beginners in AWS. So let me use one of these buckets. So this is the bucket where I'm going to configure the event bridge. Before that, let me ensure that the SNS topic is configured properly. I have created this S3 notify topic. It is very simple to create a SNS topic, but I haven't subscribed yet. So let me create a subscription. Protocol is email and I'm going to add my email ID and create subscription. Now I should have got a mail in my Gmail ID. Let me check if I have got. Okay, you can see that I have received a mail from S3 notified topic. Let me open that and confirm subscription. That's it. That subscription is confirmed. Now let me go back and go to S3 notification. Go to the S3 notified topic and you can see that it is confirmed. Okay. Now go back to S3 bucket and go to properties, come down. Here you can see Amazon event bridge. It is off. So let me edit it and make it on save changes. The configuration change required in S3 is already done. Now the next thing which we need to do is go to event bridge and create a rule so that whenever event bridge receives a event from this particular S3 bucket, it will send that message to the destination whatever we configure let us see how we can do that we need to create a rule okay click on create rule rule name s3 notify rule description you can leave that and i don't want to schedule an event on time based it has to be based on an event pattern so i will select this next event source aws events that is okay sample event is optional so let me not choose anything come down creation method, use pattern form, whichever is default, use that, event source, AWS services, but which AWS service, you have to specify that here, it is S3. Event type, you can choose any of these, S3 event notification, API call via cloud trail, any of these you can choose, but I'm going to choose all events to make it, keep it simple. Next, what is the target? You can have multiple targets, basically. You can actually have SNS as the target, SNS topic. So it will ask you to choose the topic. This is the topic. And if you want to add one more target, let me add target two, and I will say SQS, SQS queue, and I'll choose the standard queue. So any number of targets you can add. I have added two. Next tag I'm not adding. Next. So now you can review it. I don't want to change anything more. So I'm going to create the rule. Okay, the rule is created. Now we need to test it. How do we test it? Go to your bucket and go to objects. Already two objects are there, but I'm going to upload the same object once again. Let me do that. Let me drag and drop. That will be better. I'm dragging and dropping index.html. Upload. So the upload event is happening. Okay, the event has happened. So now what should happen is the SQS Q, there should be a message and SNS topic, there should be a message and through SNS topic in my Gmail inbox, I should have got a mail. Let me check that first. Let me refresh this. Yeah, you can see that a message has come. Click on that and you can see what it says, the key index.html. Basically index.html object has been uploaded. That's what it says. So basically I have got this message. Now let us also go back and check if my SQS queue, the message has been received. So let me open SQS queue. There are two queues, but this is the one which I used. Okay, so how do I check if there is a message? Send and receive message. 
come here poll for messages so you can see that there is a message which has come let me open that and you can see the same thing it says this is the bucket name and uh, the key object key is index.html so that has been uploaded so this is how you can use amazon event bridge for sending your event to various targets we can actually use event bridge to integrate between multiple aws services easily that is the advantage okay that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this please consider subscribing to my channel i'll be back with other useful videos thank you bye